Hello everybody and welcome back to another Flask tutorial. So in this video we're going to be talking about blueprints which essentially allows us allows us to divide up our application into separate Python files where we can actually pass um, specific views and render templates from different areas of our kind of project or application. Now this is really nice because sometimes you might create let's say maybe like an admin page or a specific login script or something that you could reuse in different applications. Well with our previous knowledge we would have had to put all of that in the same Python file which would make it much more difficult to reuse those different components in new Flask applications. So here I'm going to show you how we can divide things up with blueprints, how we can create kind of our own little mini apps inside of the big web application and then how we kind of reference those and use those properly it shouldn't take too long but let's go ahead and get started now the first thing I'm going to do is create a new Python file which is going to be our blueprint now the blueprints are kind of just extensions to your app so you're going to think of this main file that we have and I've just kind of modified this a little bit from last time but I'm sure you guys understand what's going on here as like the driver for our application this is kind of what sets all of the blueprints up it's the first thing that we go to and this is going to define kind of the behavior and those blueprints are kind of little extensions that can be used from this file. So what I'm going to do is go file new file to keep this simple. I'm going to save this directly in the same directory as my main.py file. I'm going to call it second.py. And what we're going to do is just import a few things at the top here. So from flask import blueprint and import render template. Now what I'm going to do is set up this as a blueprint. So the way that I do that is I'm going to create a variable. In this case, I'm going to call it second, but you can call this variable whatever you want, so long as you know the name of it. And I'm going to say is equal to blueprint. Now in here, I'm going to set the name of my blueprint, which I recommend is the same as the file name and as this variable, but doesn't have to be. And then our import name is always going to be underscore underscore name pretty much like unless you're doing some advanced uses, you're always just going to do this, which represents the name of this file. It's a special Python variable. Now, the next thing that we need to define, and this is optional, but you usually will want to define it is the path to your static folder and your template folder. Now, the reason you do this is because technically you could have a different folder that stores the templates for these views. And this is going to have whatever functions we define in here. And maybe they want to use templates with the same name. Um, but that look a little bit different. So in that case, maybe we create a new template folder. We create a new base.html file. And from this template or from this blueprint, we're going to render those templates. Now, in this case, what I want to do is just reference the original template and static folder that we have. So to do that, I'm going to say static underscore folder equals uh, static like that. And then I'm going to say template underscore folder equals templates if I could spell that correctly. Okay, so that's as easy as it is. And again, um, you can change the name of those to be whatever you want. And what is this black box? I'm going to try to get rid of this and be right back. Okay, so I don't know what that was. But anyways, now that we've done this, um, everything's kind of the same as what we've done before. There's no need to run like app.run do this if name equals main because we're not going to be running the application from this file, we're only going to run it from here. And then we'll just use some code from here. So what we can do is just set up our roots and set up our functions like we would before. So what I'm going to do is rather than using at app this time, I'm going to say at second dot root, and then I can set this root to be whatever I want. So let's start by just doing slash home and let's actually set another root and let's just make it equal to slash as well. Now we'll just make this really basic. We'll say define home render underscore template. And then we have that home.html template. Since we've referenced this templates folder up here, we have home.html we can render that and then we'll see this image popping up. We'll just get rid of that H1 tag for now. Okay, awesome. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is actually set up this blueprint from our main flask application so that we actually use it properly. Now, what we need to do uh, when we start doing this is just import the actual Python file that holds this blueprint. So second is the blueprint, we need to import that file. So I'm going to say from second, import second. Now, if you named your variable something else, so maybe you named it second one like that, then you would have to change this to second one there because that's actually what you want to import and what you want to use. Okay, so that's pretty much all we really need to do now. We're just going to say app.register blueprint. We're going to type the name blueprint, which is second. And then we're going to set an optional URL prefix. I'm going to set it equal to blank for now, and we'll get back to this in a second and talk about what that is. 
This is as easy as it is with any other blueprints you have. If they're in the same directory, you just go from third, import third, from fourth, import fourth. And obviously you can name them whatever you want. Just do those import, register the blueprint as whatever it is. And then whenever you go to slash home, it'll just find it in this blueprint and you'll be, you'll go there. And we'll talk about how this works in a second. So notice first of all, before I run this, that I have this app.root as slash. So test is um, slash and it's just going to render h1 test. Now, but here I have slash as well. So what does that actually mean? When I type slash, am I going to go to test or am I going to go to the home page? Well, that's what we're going to test right now, but take your guess and you know, why you think we're going to go there. So let's run Python main.py. Let's get our web browser up here. Um, I'm just going to go, this was already up before. So let's go slash hit enter and whoa, and we get an error. And that is because I forgot to return from here. So let's make sure that we return that. Let's refresh uh, this page or it actually already refreshed for us. And give me a second. There we go. So notice that when I go to slash and I apologize about that, that I go directly to the home page. I don't actually go to that test page that was here. The reason this is, is because essentially whenever we register a blueprint, we look at this URL prefix, which in this case is blank, which means any URL, we pass it to the blueprint. So into here, and we see if anything matches. So we say, in this case, we type slash, we go to this blueprint, we see that slash matches. So we immediately return and render this home.html. Now, if slash didn't exist in here, so if we get rid of that and we rerun this again, so let's go here. Now, if click enter on this, you see we get directed to test. And that's because we didn't have that slash root in this specific file. So since it didn't find it in there, we went to here. Now, how can I make it so that we can actually reference slash here, but we can also reference the slash root over here, maybe using a little bit of a different URL. Well, this is where things get a little bit interesting. And this is where we can do the URL prefix. So essentially the URL prefix is what needs to come first for us to send something to that blueprint. So let's say this blueprint represented all of the admin functionality of our website. In this case, our URL prefix would be admin. And I guess we could do admin slash like that or slash admin. And if we see slash admin, what we'll do is we'll actually pass the rest of the URL to this second dot pi file and then go to this view based on that. So in this case, what's going to happen is if we type slash admin and we don't type anything else, what we'll get is just go to this slash page here because the like kind of extension after slash admin was nothing. So we're going to return home. And then if we go to slash admin slash home, we'll reference home here and we'll go to that page. Now to make this a bit more clear, I'm just going to say define test and we'll add a root here. So at second dot root, let's just make this test so that you guys understand how this works. And then just do return. In this case, we'll return some H1 tags and just say, Test like that. Okay, so let's run this again. And let me kind of show you an example. So this makes a bit more sense. So when we run this by default, now we go to test. That is because again, if we look here, we have slash that's going to go to test and we only go to this blueprint if we see slash admin. So now watch what happens If I type slash admin, you see that we rendered this home page. Now why did that work? Well, we have the URL prefix of admin. So what we do is we pass whatever comes after slash admin. So if we have like slash um, admin slash, like that's what came after it. So we pass that here. We see that we have a slash. So we render the home template. Now let's do a few more tests. Um, I guess I'm going to have to actually get rid of whatever I wrote here so that this doesn't crash it. So let's do that. And let's go to slash admin slash test. And notice when we do that, we get this test because again, we took that slash test after admin rendered the view. So this is very useful. This makes it a lot cleaner. So you don't have to type slash admin slash home slash whatever in all of these blueprints. And that is kind of just how that works. So now I'm going to show you how we can do this in a bit more advanced way with different template folder and different static folders inside of kind of different directories. And then we'll be done talking about blueprints. All right. So now I'm going to show you kind of a more advanced part of templates where what we can actually do is have a better structure in here where we kind of have mini apps inside of our main app. So to do this, I just want to quickly mention that I actually found this web page. You guys might've seen me uh, pop it up before that explains this really well, kind of how this project structure works. So I'll leave a link to, this is kind of the way that I figured out how all of this worked. So I figured I'd give them a little bit of credit and put it in uh, the description. So anyways, you guys can have a look at that. It explains it really well, but I'm going to go through kind of an example here because the web page doesn't really go through examples. It kind of just explains it. 
on how we do this. So what I actually want to do is put my second.py file in its own folder and it has its own static um, images and its own templates. Because realistically, if we can do that, then that means we can just take that folder and we can just put that into any Flask application and just use that as kind of like a little component of the app. So for example, you know, logging in, admin, all that kind of stuff is some basic examples of what when we might use that. So I'm going to start by just creating a new folder in here and let's just start by calling this, um, I don't know, admin. So it has some admin functionality for our application. Now what I'm going to do is move this templates folder, move this static folder and move this second.py file into admin. So to do that, uh, this actually might take me a second. I think I can move this. Okay, so we'll say admin slash. Uh, perfect. That moved that. We'll do the same one here. So admin, oops, slash, and then we'll move the second.py. So last one, admin slash. Awesome. So we move those in here into this admin folder and we have this main.py file. So now how can I actually import this second file and have the blueprint work properly like it did before? Well, all we actually need to do is add one file inside of our admin folder to create this as a Python package. Now, I'm not going to explain how this works because it's kind of a whole new topic on its own, but essentially creating an underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi file and just saving it and not putting anything in it inside of a folder will actually make that folder a Python package. And what that allows you to do is reference the folder name to import modules from it. Now, this might seem a bit confusing, but from my main.py file now, I can't just uh, import second because the thing is, there's no second file in the same directory as this main.py file. So how do I actually import that file that's inside admin? Well, to do that, all you do is admin.second import second, and we don't have to change anything. This is just going to work properly now. Now, the reason this works is because when you create a Python package with this init.py, it allows you to reference the uh, folder name and then that other folder. But if we didn't add this init.py in there, we'd be out of luck. This wouldn't work because we couldn't reference admin.second. So anyways, to prove to you guys I'm not making this up, I'll just actually run the app again. So you see when I go to slash admin, that works fine. When I go to slash admin test, same thing. And then we can go back to the home page and we just get the big uppercase test. So that works properly. That's how you do that. Then inside here now, we have our own static and our own template folder. And if I wanted to create a, a new kind of like mini app um, that had its own blueprint again, well, I could just create another new folder. In this case, we'll just call this like, I don't know, other. And then inside here, what I can do is the exact same thing I did here. So I can create another file, another init.py, templates, static, just mention again, like we have in second that our static folder is static, our template folders template, it will use the ones that are inside this interior uh, directory. So inside other, and then we can have different kind of templates and different static files for that. So that is how blueprints work. You can use as many blueprints as you want. All you need to do is just register them here and set their URL prefix. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So with that being said, that has been it for blueprints. This will probably be the last technical video. And we're actually going to do a deploy next, I think, and show how we can get this flask application out onto the web so that anyone can access it. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys in another video.